Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. This is for the sign of Virgo. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I wanted to remind you that this may not resonate with you. Okay, It may not because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. It's for a general population of Virgos. Okay. A private reading would um, be more for you. Not that I'm trying to get you to book one because I have plenty. If you want one, fine. But if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> this is for December. I will zoom this in better once I get the cards laid out. I find it is very important to shuffle in front of the viewer because you never know what the person was thinking, you know, <laughs> or whatever, you know. This is for Virgo. I just think it's important to shuffle in front of the viewers. I am going to make sure it is zoomed up. This is for Decem December 2017, and apparently I can't talk today, so I do apologize. Um, either way, let's get right to this. The basis of your reading is the Four of Pentacles. There is some kind of resisting here, some kind of obsession, perhaps, okay? I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of resistance um, you may be feeling insecure financially, or you may be not moving um, into a different spot because you don't think you have enough money. It feels like you do have plenty, and if you don't, you could be getting gifts of money this month. This is for the month of December. Generally, my readings turn out to be love readings, but this one looks pretty financial at this point. It feels like your hard work is paying off. So if you're feeling like financially insecure, there's no need for that. Okay? I feel like your bank account should be pretty balanced. If not, you could be receiving a gift of money during this month of December with these two cards. Okay? This tells me that you're being too frivolous with your money. Not wanting to spend it. Not wanting to give it. Okay, that's what this is. This is like an obsession to money. Okay, so I'm not saying that you're obsessed. I don't think you are, but this is telling me that you're being too frivolous or you're very worried about your finances. So this is the basis of your reading for December. Just realize that whatever you put out is going to come back. Okay, it is. Absolutely. It's going to come back. I see that you know, your hard work pays off. It's going to keep coming in, all right? So if you're worrying about your finances, don't, all right? I see security, stability, and abundance here financially, all right? I don't think that you are going to be struggling like you think you are going to be. I think you are should be very grateful for all that you have because you. I feel like you have plenty, but you're feeling like you need to save, 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 okay? I'm just telling you, that's what the cards say. I feel like you definitely need to let go of something, okay? You do. Something is very heavy. Um, it could be a job for some of you. You may feel like you're just not there anymore. You're ready to close that door. It doesn't serve you anymore. could be in regards to a job. It could be in regards to something else. But this looks pretty much um, financial, you know, that's going to affect your financial future. You're really, you're staying stuck in a, something that perhaps you don't like. Um, maybe it's a job, okay, because you, for fear of losing money. I'm just, just saying. But this tells me that you're going to be victorious no matter what, okay? You are. No matter what, you're going to be victorious. I think you really need to do the right thing for you, okay? You do. This is the Queen of Swords right here. You need to be just. You need to do the right thing for you. Even if it hurts. Even if you're worried. Even if you feel like um, you've been suffering from something. 
you know, that, that it's going to invoke suffering, whichever it is, because I have to remind you too, time is fluid. This could be happening now. This is being recorded in November. Could be happening in December. This is a December reading. This could be happening January, okay? Because the time is fluid. I feel like there's been some heartache, okay? There's been some suffering that you are starting to move away from, okay? You may be re removing yourself from heartache and from suffering, but you're replacing it with fear of um, financial stability, okay? So it feels like it just goes right from one thing to the other. I feel like many of you, um, <laughs> you need to forgive yourself. Right off the bat, I see that you need to forgive yourself for something, and I'm not sure what it is. I think there's some guilt here for somebody who is watching this. I'm not sure, but somebody that is watching this needs to forgive themselves. Both of these cards are about forgiveness, and they're the first two cards that came out. They're All it's doing is causing you depression, despair, anguish, and it's time to close that door. It is time to close that door. It's time to release that heaviness. Okay? It is. It's time to move forward. It's time to master your emotions. Okay? It really is. It's time to bring the balance back to your life. It's time to be do the right thing for you. Time to look at something from another perspective. And I think that's what this month is about. You're moving away from heartache. Okay? You are. You're moving away from heartache. Maybe you're burying the guilt. Maybe you're letting go of the guilt because you are letting go of something. Maybe you're closing the door to suffering. Okay? So for some of you, that's what the case is. You've mastered your emotions in the area of your heart, but on the other hand, you have financial insecurity, but it's unwarranted. It's unwarranted because we have a lot of pentacles here. The six of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. Money is not a problem, but this card tells me that you seriously think it is. Okay, it's not. It's not. Whatever you spend, if maybe it's because it's the holiday season and you're like, I don't have much to spend. You feel like you can't give. This is about giving, the six of pentacles. Remember that what you give, you will receive. All right, you will. You, this is, is the truth. With this Ace of Pentacles, it's when you receive something new on a physical level. But this is about giving and receiving. So remember that. If you're thinking about not giving, maybe and this can signify that you need to give. Maybe you have more than enough and you need to give to a charity. I don't know. I see that you have plenty financially, but you may feel like you don't. And I, I doesn't mean that you're rich, okay? This does not mean that you are rich. It means that you have enough to give, okay? And when you give, you receive. Whether you receive something physically or you receive something internally. When you give, you receive. And that is a promise. Okay, that is the truth. Truth, okay? Okay, so anyway, we're done with that part of it. Absolutely, I need to tell you, we have a nine, nine, nine. Doors need, or one door, okay, especially. One door needs to be closed, okay? Nines mean that you need to close a door, okay? You do. It's a time for closure, Nines are a sign to move on. You've been through a lot. Nines are also about um, you're so, so, so close. You're so close to finding your life's purpose. Okay? You are. And that is signified in this card as well. All right? It's also a number of humanity. And I see that this is needed. So maybe this month of December, many of you will be giving you could be giving your time. This doesn't mean you have to give your money. This can be time. This can be affection. This can be listening to somebody. Okay? It can. So this tells me that you need to give. Both of these cards tell me that you need to give. And with these nines as well, it's a, it's, it's a time of humanity. So just that's part of your reading for a reason. I don't know why, but it's a big deal. I think that... Um, 
you're making progress in your life. You're bringing balance back to your life. And I think that you are because you've been through some suffering that has given you wisdom. All right? I feel like it's really, really time for you to look at things from a new perspective. All right? And I think many of you already have, actually. I think that most of you already have. And you are feeling very grateful for all that you have. And I think this month is a time to share it. Seriously, that's what I see. It's a time to share. I don't know where this is coming from. But um, it's amazing. It really is. Many of you could be traveling this month. All right. Um, it's amazing. I, I, I feel like... You're so, so close to the end of a situation. I really do. I think it's the end of suffering. I really do. And I think it's you're about to have a major epiphany, okay? I do. I think you're going to have an epiphany that just whew, is amazing. I think you're going to be somebody's shining light. <laughs> I have to go with whatever is is comes to me. It's just the way it is. It feels like you guys are going to be giving to somebody, you know, whether it's your time or your money or your affection or whatever it is. It feels like it's a giving month for you. And with all these pentacles, it's absolutely clear that you have something to give. And, you know, the pentacles represent finances, but in this case, it also represents time, balance, harmony, gratefulness, okay? So, I really feel like many of you are going to be giving because you've, you've suffered something big and you just feel like it's a time to give. Maybe it's your life experience, you know? You're just going to give somebody your time. That's pretty amazing, huh? Wow. Now we have the Queen of Swords over the Queen of Swords. This is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe this is the person that is either going to give to you or you're going to give to them. Maybe it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that needs your help. All right? I was going to say it, but I was waiting for the card. There's the transformation upon you. Upon you. Like I said, I can't talk. This is a transformation, but I was waiting for the death card. That's a transformation as well. I think many of you are going through a spiritual awakening, a spiritual transformation. You really are ascending, and I think that's where a lot of this giving comes from. Perhaps this Four of Pentacles comes up because you're feeling it more. You're feeling like you want to give more. Okay? I don't do reversals because I don't have to. Perhaps this card needs to be reversed. And it's you're really wanting to give, 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 give this month. Okay? <laughs> Six of Pentacles twice, different deck. This is about giving and receiving. That's what the card is about. What you give, you will receive back. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Same card. Different deck. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow. So the Empress is here now. This is somebody who is very kind. Very motherly. Very beautiful. Inside and out. She gives it all. She doesn't care about her money. She doesn't. She's, she gives what she has. She shares everything. And this came up in your reading because I feel like somebody needs your help. I think it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is the Emperor. This is the sign of Aries. Okay, this is the sign of Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here many times, which is you. Virgo is here. You are definitely in this reading. And I think that you are probably very grateful for how far you have come. And you are really letting go of the need to control. I think many of you are just letting the universe drive and you're going with the flow.
I just have to tell you, you definitely could be receiving some gifts again this month. I know it's December and, and most everybody's receiving gifts, but I see somebody is going to be receiving a gift that is more than just a gift. Do you know what I mean? It's something that will really touch them. There's going to be a touching gift, okay? That's something that really touches your heart. Okay, your life is becoming more stable and secure, and I feel like you're becoming more in harmony with yourself, and you just want to share it. And I think that you have that motherly or fatherly instinct that somebody is in need of. Okay, I do, um, and, and I think that. People probably look up to you for advice because they feel your, um, what's the word, that you're genuine. They feel that you're wise. They believe in you. They trust you. And so I, that's where some of this giving, somebody needs your time, okay? Not only, I mean, somebody needs your time. I'm going to start shuffling my next deck. We definitely have a transformation here, okay? With the chariot and the death card, many of you are going through a transformation. And I think it's after a period of, feel, of suffering that has made you wise, okay? And I feel like you, somebody feels that you're wise, okay? And they are looking for your help. I think somebody needs your help. Ooh, look at that. Could be somebody in your family that needs you more than ever in December, okay? This whole reading tells me that it's a time of giving in which you will receive. And if you watch the other readings, none of it is about giving so far for December. It's clear that somebody needs you this December and they need more than gifts and trust me, you will be rewarded. You will. Many of you will be receiving a gift of money. You will be, okay? Or you may be receiving something that is even better than money, okay? It's in your heart, okay? I feel like you guys are so close to releasing something that you have been suffering from, all right? This judgment card says that you're so close to an, to the end of a period. The next card is the world card, okay? The world card is the last card in the deck. It means that's a major completion. You're so close to the next phase of your life. You're about to have the awakening or you are having it now. The next card is the actual completion where you start this transformation, okay? So I think that 2018 is going to be a completely different year for you. I really, really do. We're going to get to this card now. This, this year is ending, and that's what, I, that's what it is. This is the wisdom that you have gained throughout this whole year. Somebody is probably seeking your wisdom. Anyway, we're going to get to the card now. family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation. And allow yourself to feel peace. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. 
it's amazing what they do during my readings. It truly is. I'm telling you what. This card it just sums up the whole reading. I'm going to read it again because I'm absolutely amazed. Unbelievable. Family, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. I think I said in the middle of the reading something about a very touching gift. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's all I can say is thank you at this point. They do this for me every single day. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to work on the next one. Wow. Happy holidays. Feel free to welcome, welcome, watch my welcome video if you are interested.